European champions at home tonight, kicking off the Premier League season against Norwich City. Uh, Jürgen Klopp's Liverpool players um, ready to kick off at 8 o'clock this evening. Uh, team news, Joe Gomez starts as centre-back alongside Virgil van Dijk. Sadio Mane only deemed fit enough for the bench after he only returned to training on Monday. So the front three, Roberto Firmino, Mohamed Salah and Divock Origi. Uh, the midfield three, uh, Firmino will hold uh, in that number six role alongside Jordan, Captain Jordan Henderson and um, Gini Wijnaldum. Obviously Trent Alexander-Arnold and Andy Robertson start at right and left back respectively and the goalkeepers Allison. Uh, newly promoted Norwich arrive at Anfield and with, uh, it's going to be a great atmosphere that it's anticipated at Anfield tonight obviously with the first game back uh, with the European Champions Friday night. Uh, expect a great atmosphere kick off at 8 o'clock. First game jitters, so I'll take a 1 0. To be honest, but prediction, I think it's going to be 5 or 6. And um, prediction for the season? <sighs> My heart says first. My mind says goal difference first. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to kicking off this, this year uh, with, the with the Champions League title. Uh, let's go for the Premier League, so hopefully that. Yeah. I think we're going to win 3 or 4 nil. Well, I was at Wembley last weekend, so I'm a little bit uh, hoping for a bit of payback and uh, get the three points to start the season well. 4-1 uh, to Liverpool. I'm great, except I'm looking for a ticket. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be 3 nil Liverpool. Mo Salah right here is going to score a brace. And probably Sadio Mane is going to score the third. I think uh, it's going to be Man City and Liverpool again. I think Liverpool is going to do it. I think they're going to win it. Wasn't well, it, yeah. Can't wait. Um, going to go 5 0 for me, no, anytime. I think we'll get City this year. I think we'll do them, yeah. Definitely will. Well, the Premier League season is up and running, and Liverpool have enjoyed a 4 1 victory here against newly promoted Norwich City. It's a decent performance. Jurgen Klopp uh, said that he was fairly pleased, certainly with the first hour. Liverpool by that stage were 4 0 up. In fact, they were 4 0 up at half time. Uh, they got off to a great start. Divock Origi's cross put into his own goal by Grant Hanley. Uh, Roberto Firmino then set up a very good goal for Mohamed Salah. Salah then went turned creator, sorry, uh, and put in a cross from a corner, which Virgil van Dijk bulleted into the goal. And then just before half time, fourth goal was scored. Trent Alexander-Arnold's cross and Divock Origi got his goal. Uh, Norwich did get a goal back uh, about 25 minutes from time, but they, while they did threaten a little bit in the first half, Liverpool were not the best defensively. I mean, personally, I thought that the midfield, certainly at that time, were played through a little bit, didn't offer great protection for the defence. But Norwich, you know, they, they won the championship last season by playing against a certain brand of football, a brand that Jurgen Klopp likes. He, he paid credit to them after the game. And, you know, they, they, they played well in patches, but defensively, they weren't particularly great, but Liverpool had too much, they were too strong. Now, the big talking point though after the game is the injury for Alison Becker. He pulled up just a few minutes before half-time, just taking a goal kick, uh, went straight down onto the turf. Liverpool's doctors were straight on the pitch. Uh, uh, there was a time where perhaps it looked as though he may have to be stretched off, but Alisson hobbled his way off and around the pitch. Uh, he's got a calf injury. He's already been ruled out ruled out, sorry, of the uh, UEFA Super Cup game against Chelsea in Istanbul on Wednesday. And in his place was the player who came on for an instant debut. That's Adrian, who uh, I think it was about last Sunday. He, he wasn't even a Liverpool player. He signed, obviously, on Monday. Simon Mignolet went off to Club Bruges. Uh, and Adrian was push, pushed into a, you know, an immediate uh, instant debut. You know, he did well enough. He had no chance with the Norwich goal. Uh, but you know, it is a little bit of a worry. Alisson will have scans, presumably tomorrow on Saturday, I should say, uh, about the injury. And then Liverpool discovered the extent of it. Jurgen Klopp said it doesn't look particularly good, though. Uh, he couldn't determine whether it's a tear or not. That will come out with the, the scan results themselves. But it does look as though Alisson, certainly out of the game on Wednesday, could be out for an extended period. And uh, Adrian will be, presumably, will be the, the, the person who will be st standing in between the sticks. But overall, Liverpool, a 4 1 victory. Couldn't have asked for much more in terms of the results. Uh, the season's up and running. We're here underground in Anfield, where the players just walk past in the mix zone, and they've just beaten Norwich 4 1. I'm here with our Liverpool correspondent Paul Gorst and we're going to go through the game with you so I guess first thing to sort of talk about Liverpool scored four goals front mm. three looks incredible first half Origi obviously playing on the left what, what did you kind of make of it? Um, I thought actually Divock Origi did a, a very good impression of Sadio Mane didn't he he was uh, scampering his way down left and um, did well for the opener he obviously stood the defender up got the cross in fizzed it in low and uh, Grant Hanley turned it into his own net and then as soon as that went in he kind of thought it was going to be Liverpool's day there was going to be no real problems and uh, they just eased through the gears, didn't they? I thought by the end of it they were pairing. Uh, Roberto Firmino was doing back heel passes on the halfway line. Fabinho was spraying about with the outside of his foot. Um, 
So yeah, all in all, good day's work, and I thought particularly attacking wise, um, it, was, it was kind of a throwback actually to the, uh, the 2017 season where you know they were so good going forward and perhaps a little bit lackadaisical at the back, but going forward they were great, and I'm um, looking forward to seeing more of that um, over the next few weeks. Um, there's actually nothing bad to say about the game apart from Ali's injury. Yeah, well, that's of course not good for us, um, but we have to see how serious it is and um, then we have to uh, deal with it. Wednesday he will not play. I can, With all my experience I can say that already. And I would... Sorry? I think that... Yeah, maybe. How can I say that? <laughs> you cannot write this without having a scan. So it's not... It's, it, it, uh, he's injured. For sure. So we have to see how how much.